Hey, it's Tanika Bruce, also known as Coach Bruce or the Network Nurse. I'm a registered nurse, an author, a leader, a doctoral student, a wife, and a parent. Join me on this journey to discuss nurse X's and O's from nursing to networking. With my experiences, failures, and lessons learned in leadership, business, and sports, my hope is to positively impact your life by challenging you to chase after your goals with relentless pursuit. Let's aim to achieve success beyond your wildest dreams. Hello everyone. Today we're going to talk about why nurses make great entrepreneurs. And it's rare to find healthcare workers, especially nurses, that want to venture into business. And the world of entrepreneurship seems to be the one that nurses don't really bother to do, but they just dream about. Most nurses I know consider themselves as uh, not necessarily as business oriented enough or they lack the necessary qualifications that will make them successful, but most importantly, they lack the time. And the irony is, is that I've come to discover that this profession, specifically nursing, is one of the best that equips individuals for entrepreneurship. So today we're going to shed a little bit of light on some of those qualities that just prove beyond uh, what most people think and just just prove that doubt that nurses are great entrepreneurs. Now, during training, nurses are indirectly taught entrepreneurship. So knowledge accumulation, you have detailed observation and troubleshooting, you have practical application of that knowledge and comparison of solutions. You also have expectation management. A nurse is trained also to just remain calm in emergent situations and how to think on his or her feet under pressure. So these are all elements that make up a business person or a successful entrepreneur. So you might have to think carefully before spending any amount of money to really just acquire skills that you already possess. You just need to know how to bring those skills out. So the first quality we're going to talk about is being dynamic. The human body, although it follows some patterns that are quite unpredictable, if you think about it, deviation from the norm happens. And when it does, it happens very fast. Well, nurses are expected to react faster by adapting to any changes that might occur if you think about it in the health of a patient. Whenever they're caring for them, nurses are always prepared to have this plan B and plan C in case of any kind of complication. Now, equate that to handling a business, and then you realize a nurse can be such a great manager. One thing is that Nurses are always prepared for unpredictable market changes and can be trusted to react faster in those changes with, when you relate that to business, any kind of flexible business ideas and decisions. And in addition to being dynamic, this situation also displays knowledge gathering. And nurses have that ability because Nurses are supposed to know his or her patient thoroughly. They have to read up on their ailments. They have to take information from the patient by drawing out scenarios and also making plans on how to handle those scenarios and asking themselves, what is the most important thing that I need to take care of? Usually they're taught ABCs, airway, breathing, and circulation. So. When you think about it from that perspective, nurses know how to manage the most important things. So this process is the same for entrepreneurship because the business, in essence, is the entrepreneur's patient. Now, the business owner is supposed to have this extensive knowledge of the business and they need to have knowledge of the target market and market fluctuations and seasonality and knowledge about the product or service themselves. Now assumptions and scenarios have to be considered and then contingencies also have to be instituted for all of these scenarios. That's what keeps the business ready to successfully absorb any kind of shock at any point. Now every nurse has a specific role to play when taking care of their patient. 
healthcare workers, they execute their duties individually and as a team. So for any case, each member of a team has a well-defined role to perform. Any kind of miscue of like a member of a team or a procedure, all of those things, everybody plays a part and one mistake can ruin it for all. This is really a big thing when you're talking about surgery because with this cultures, nurses who become entrepreneurs, they find it easy creating teams that execute business processes very well and do so on time. And that's because they already understand how critical roles define the entire procedure and how it is important when you're talking about successfully executing procedures. Now, nursing is totally customer service oriented. They're supposed to communicate with patients and just knowledge gathering, just to build rapport or to inspire someone or to lift up someone. And that healthy spirit that they carry tends to heavily influence patients as they heal and recover. So the art of communicating with strangers in a bid just to kind of make them trust their uh, product or trust their service comes with experience and nurses have tons of that think about how many patients they interact with now as an entrepreneur maintaining a good relationship with clients and partners prove they can be critical in making business successful so the nurse who becomes this entrepreneur is likely to possess great communication skills, and that means they're gonna keep up with their clients. They're gonna make them happy. They're gonna make sure that they're taken care of. Nurses have other qualities that bear such testimony to their competence. And also, if you think about it, it verifies their potential becoming entrepreneurs because, I mean, I've only scratched the surface with what we've discussed today, but going through everything will require a lot of time. And unfortunately, we don't have a lot of time, but know that this conversation is just a small snapshot and it's been interesting. So I have to ask that you just continue to our next episode as we discuss this. However, I'm hopeful that as a nurse, what we talked about today, if you're thinking about becoming an entrepreneur, know that you already possess needed traits for entrepreneurship. Don't let any goals be deterred because you don't think that you have what it takes because competency doesn't stop someone from pursuing their dreams. Fear does. Don't let that fear set in. The only thing that's stopping you now is you. So I've got to say goodbye, but I'm going to leave you with these words from Marianne Williamson. Our deepest fear is not what, that we're inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we're powerful beyond measure. It's our light, not our darkness that most frightens us. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, talented, and fabulous? Actually, who are you not to be? Hopefully you guys liked today's episode. My goal is to be of help to you in making even the slightest change in your life through this podcast. And if that happens, then that's achievement enough for me. And I'd love to hear your thoughts make sure you don't forget to subscribe to the podcast. That's very important. And also connect with me on my social media pages. And if you want to know more about me, please visit TanikaBruce.com. Now, there's always three things that you need to do in between now and the next episode. One, don't forget to share it with your friends and family. Two, know when the next episode will be. And number three, win your day.